Batteries are charged in the mitochondria. Some cells, like muscle cells, have thousands of chargers. When a load of glucose arrives, it is fused to the mitochondria and stripped of its vesicle. The glucose molecules are stripped down to sugar and the hydrogen ions removed. They will be used to power the motor generators used to charge the batteries. Each glucose molecule would charge about 30 batteries. Some cells have billions of ATP molecules. On average, the batteries are recharged three times a minute. Half of the volume of a heart muscle cell is taken up by the battery chargers. The energy is released when the last phosphate molecule is snapped away. Most of the cell's molecules are machines requiring batteries. The DNA segments are bound together by batteries. The muscles are powered by batteries. We have seen how the transporters use them. The inner membrane of the mitochondria has numerous folds to accommodate the many motor generator sets needed to charge the millions of batteries. The motor generator sets used to charge the ATP batteries are one of the wonders in the molecular world. The hydrogen ions or protons accumulate in the space between the membranes. Because of the electrochemical gradient, they want to flow into the inner space. This is a principle used to charge the batteries. The membrane has portals for the discharged batteries to enter and the charged batteries to leave. Hydrogen ions or protons are extracted from the glucose and fill the space between the membranes. Because of the electrochemical gradient, they want to flow into the inner space. The motor generator sets are anchored in the membrane. The principal components are the motor, the shaft, the generator, and the support that holds it all together. The motor generator sets use the same principle as the water wheel where the falling water turns the paddle wheel to generate power. In the ATP synthase, the hydrogen ions use an electrochemical gradient to flow down onto the motor armature or paddle wheel make about one revolution and are dumped into the lower pressure area. The lower portion of the shaft has a cam that pushes out the generator segments as it rotates. The charged battery is released from between the segments to find its way out of the mitochondria. As the cam continues to rotate, the generator segments move back into place. A discharged battery is placed in the vacated segment and the charging starts. By the time the rotating cam has returned and pushed out the generator segments, the now charged battery is dumped. The shaft rotates about 2400 RPM and three batteries are charged per revolution. Now let's see it in action. And now, onto the cell's nucleus.